The feast bags were for uh, for food to take when you go to ceremonies or to, to take with you wherever you go. So you don't have to use plastic or you don't have to use uh, paper plates. You have your plate to eat to eat from. And then with with your, your food, the food that you take also, you offer tobacco for the food that's been given to you. Then you give it in the ground. You don't you don't eat all of it. Or you, you first food food comes first. The spirit has to eat first, so you offer food first to the spirit and then you put the back into the fire too. Or to the ground wherever wherever you offer your, your food. Your food offering goes to. So that's what it uh, what's the feedback feast bag is for. Bingen provides services to Aboriginal women and children who are experiencing violence in their homes. Uh, we provide also counseling and um, programs that will help them to heal from these experiences. Some of the programs that we have are women living free from violence, sexual abuse uh, programs, counseling. I think the Voices Project was uh, initiated as a result of some of the impacts that our Aboriginal uh, women and children have been facing as a result of violence. For instance, social policy by the government uh, through residential, to have Aboriginal children go to residential schools have uh, one of the impacts. That uh, came to an end this year, or last year, I believe. This is an uh, opportunity for projects like uh, Anishinaabe Kwe Voices to help Aboriginal people get back some of the losses that they've experienced, for instance, um, cultural programming. Uh, understanding um, what their roles are, uh, if they've uh, lost those teachings, being pulled out of the family system when they were very young. And the other thing is our spirituality was impacted through the churches. Our traditional practices were uh, went underground as a result. And so the, those teachings have been lost. So Anishinaabe Kwe Voices helps us to reintegrate some of those uh, traditional teachings. One of the things that I uh, heard from the workshops is that one day I was watching the elder how she was so uh, pleased and uh, appreciative of the opportunity to um, participate in the making of her skirt how, how that was really important to her and in connecting with the other women like bringing them together the social aspects of coming together and uh, engaging in uh, an activity that is important to them uh, the skirts are critical wearing a skirt is critical in our ceremonies in our roles as women uh, like for instance coming here today i put a skirt on to respect that tradition of women wearing skirts in ceremony and that's what uh, some of the experiences have come from this. This is just a, a small part of uh, the learning we need to do. Part of The important part of it is that we are strengthening our identity as Aboriginal people in our um, culture. Mm -hmm.